Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over web development and the three different types of web development and different software and platforms that people would use whenever they are using each type. So what is web development? Website development is usually the next step after uh, website design. So during the web design process, um, the client and the web designer will sit down and talk about how they want the website to look how certain colors should be used, when they should be placed, how, where should, certain images should be used, um, and where, what the layout should be. And when once the design is si signed off, that's where website development comes in. It's the next step after an effective web design has been signed off, and it's essentially the, what goes under the hood of a website. As a client, you should know if you are getting a template, page builder, or custom website developed for you, and you should know the differences between each of these, the pros and cons, and why you have selected the website development that you have selected. The website that you create, or the website that gets created for you, should be created in a way to ensure that you get a stable and secure and accessible website, one that's easy to manage, low maintenance, and, re and can reliably deliver uh, for your business when you invest in digital marketing. So website development refers to the actual building and construction of a website. A lack of strong website development puts websites at risk of not functioning properly, losing traffic, decreased sales and possibly security concerns. It's worth noting that consumer purchase decisions are increasingly determined by the user experience on a website. Web development ensures that the pr purchasing process is smooth and for e-commerce websites and everything is functioning efficiently almost behind the scenes. There are loads of methods for constructing a website and they can be built manually within, with in-depth handwritten coding or with free and user-friendly website development platforms like WordPress. Pre-built website development platforms like WordPress are known as WYSIWYG editors. Um, what you see is what you get. We basically just have to drag website elements into place. Building a website from scratch is more difficult and requires much more expertise, but even with the pre-built website templates still takes some patience, knowledge and understanding. When it comes to web development, there are three different types of web development roles. There's front-end web development, back-end web development, and then there's also the full-stack web development. Front-end web development is basically responsible for the look and feel of a website. This means how colors, type, icons, and images appear. Um, front-end development has to also make sure that the website that they're building looks good and is accessible on all devices from desktop right down to tablet um, and mobile and typical programming languages include html javascript and css front-end developers uh, keep up with sort of cutting edge trends in web design and development to make sure websites are optimized for users and search engines and they have and have the best security practices in mind back-end web development is more responsible for building and maintaining the code that runs a website. This code connects the website to the server and ensures that the data flows properly to the website and that transactions are being processed correctly, forms are being submitted correctly, things like that. Typical programming languages include Java, PHP, MySQL, um, and things like that. Backend web developers can keep going with changes in technologies by participating in networking communities that share coding tips and support and things like that. Full stack web development um, covers both front end and back end re responsibilities. Depending on the complexity of a website, a full stack developer may be responsible for all facets of development from server side to the user interface. Um, and a lot of full stack developers specialize in one aspect of web development, but their broad experience is useful in troubleshooting for speeding up a build or doing a redesign. Full stack developers are often responsible for identifying um, cutting edge technologies such as enhanced programming languages and that can be used to strengthen the website's business capabilities. A web developer is essentially the architect of your website. They will construct and manage the website, ensure that you have a good, strong core infrastructure. Web developers are highly skilled in creating websites through a variety of platforms and programs. Their main aim is to ensure that websites function properly and securely. Um, some typical tasks of web developers is that they ensure navigation is smooth, so as long as um, users can navigate easily between pages, that would be uh, a really fa important factor that they would need to consider whenever they are building the website. Fix any hosting issues, 
uh, optimize the website for best SEO practices, increase performance, increase um, capacity, and also ensure security and functionality of the website. So very different to how web, web designers will do their part in building your website. Websites should be functional as well as aesthetically pleasing. So creating a strong, engaging website is a complex process, but a poorly developed website will frustrate your users and may even affect your brand's reputation and potential sales. A skilled web developer will create and design a high-performing website that best suits your, ne your business needs um, and industry needs as well. It's really important as a web developer you understand you keep up to date um, with current trends and new technologies as well. A lot of these technical web development terms may feel like jargon and it can be quite overwhelming. Um, so when you, if you are thinking of creating or maintaining a business website, it's really important that you find tutorials out there or good forums and things like that uh, to make sure to improve your skills as well. So taking time to practice your coding and developing as a programmer can help you build more complex sites. Um, there are plenty of web applications that can help you develop your technique and ab abilities. Um, and there's lots of uh, tasks that you can do yourself. Um, your code will be more readable and have better performance uh, metrics and maintain and maintainability when you focus on improving your own skills. Um, and there are definitely different skills that you uh, that are that we think are essential to improving your own web development abilities. Something that you could possibly try is contributing to open source project. So open source projects allow you to immerse yourself in code and find a greater understanding of the language that you are typing. Software like GitHub offers great opportunities to contribute to these projects. Um, so GitHub's website, you can pick a topic and pick a specific topic that you want to learn about um, and then contribute to open source projects that other people have contributed to themselves um, and really just try and uh, add your own code to it and play around with it as well. It's a good way to kind of practice your skills without having to do it on something live um, so then you don't have the fear of breaking anything if you, um, if you do and things like that. You can either get involved with an existing open source project or try and create an iteration of it by yourself. And it's a really great way to meet like-minded people as well as you can contribute to existing projects and help it reach their final stage by fixing either minor bugs to improve the stability of a particular project and things like that. Taking a really hands-on approach to coding allows you to have a greater understanding of coding itself and expose you to not only traditional coding but also unique coding that is done by other people which can help you with your own knowledge base. Collaborating with other coders also helps you enhance your skills as they can point out what you're doing well and what requires improvement to unlock your, unlock your full coding potential. You can also search for new skills. So the internet has opened up an incredible amount of opportunities to allow us all to develop new talents. This is also true of web development. There are a variety of web development tutorials online to help you enhance your knowledge, share and pick pick up new trends in the industry as they happen. One of the most exciting parts of web development is that it's constantly evolving and there are new programming languages to learn con constantly. You can build, learn to build plugins for WordPress or you can even build your own mobile app. The possibilities are endless. Learning through tutorials might not give you the level of mastery you need to be f fully sufficient in a particular skill, but it does expose you to it and gives you the opportunity to test yourself and grow your knowledge and grow your confidence as well, which could le eventually lead to further study in that field. New skills create new passions and only enhance your offerings. One thing uh, you want to make sure that you do is that you ensure that you write as much code as possible. Arguably the most important part to all web development skills is writing code. Writing code is crucial if you want to become the best developer you can possibly be. The more you practice at any skill, the better you become at it. Um, and it's that simple. Coding is no different. It requires plenty of thought and concentration and doing it daily can help you familiarize yourself with coding languages. Writing code can consistently help you become a better programmer as you are able to enhance your skill set and also recognize issues more swiftly, reducing the chances of make, making mistakes, ensuring that you are more efficient when dealing with clients, which means more money and more business for you. Another great way of doing this is learning your favorite code editor. Code editors like Atom or Visual Studio Code, Notepad, Plus Plus, things like that. Um, even learning 
The shortcuts to your code editor can help you code more efficiently and effectively. Use your favorite tool to make more productive and explore to make you more productive and explore the variety of features that it can offer you. Um, experiencing with it will make you a better programmer. Some people can uh, build websites without coding, but coding can make your website, uh, your custom website, more user friendly as well. As well as practicing your code, ensuring that you sandbox your experience as well is uh, really important. So you're coding every day and experimenting with, experimenting with different lines of code, but how will you remember everything you've learned? Ensure that you sandbox your experiment so that nothing you have written is in vain. Um, everyone makes mistakes, and whether you're a front-end or back-end developer, you will need to keep track of them. Sandboxing your code is quite easy. All you have to do is set up a server environment on your computer, and this could be LAMP or for Linux uh, users, um, or MAMP for Mac users, or WAMP for Windows users. Um, but essentially, when you keep experimental code confined to your server environment, it means that you don't have to worry about your entire code base being impact impacted, and mistakes are easily identified to prevent them from happening in the future. Um, this also means that you have the freedom of experimenting and being able to fail without consequences, enhancing your own web skills. The other thing you want to make sure of properly when you're writing code is that you document your code properly as well. This may seem obvious, but many people forget to do this very simple task, which is commenting on your code. Documentation is very, very important. While everyone wants code that is written for human readability first, that sometimes is impossible. Sometimes code can, can't be simplified or made more readable for users and is at times like this that commenting is crucial for understanding. Comments explain to other developers why you are trying to do with your code, why you're doing, what you're trying to do with it, um, how you've done it, um, and things like that. It can also be very critical for helping you understand your previous actions and why you've chosen a particular line. Commenting gives you time for an assessment of your work and is a useful tool for guiding you through code that you might have to pause on while you work on other pressing projects. Um, there's, depending on what uh, programming languages you use, you, there's different ways to actually comment on code. Um, for example, for HTML, to comment on code, you use these um, arrow and the exclamation mark to comment on your code. Um, on your editor, when you comment on code, it'll come up um, as green, so you'll know um, that this bit of that this line here is, is a comment and not uh, anything else, and not an actual line of code. Web development is one of the most rewarding and challenging skills that you can engage with due engage with due to different trends and languages impact, impacting how you build sites and other technologies. Becoming familiar with these trends and studying as often as possible without, with help, you become a better developer as you master programming fundamentals. So as mentioned before, there are three different types of website developers. You've got your front-end developers, back-end developers, and full-stack developers. Um, so with front-end developers, um, they are more proficient in coding languages like HTML, JavaScript, or CSS code. Um, and a lot of them are trained in graphic design programs like Photoshop or Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, front-end developers will consider things like website layout and, and formatting, structure and design, maneuvers throughout the site, site functionality, site navigation, internal links, external links, things like that. They are concerned with the visual and interactive aspects of a website. Um, although it's more than just making a website look appealing. Front-end developers can create familiar layouts of uh, publications and sites, making visitors feel familiar with your web page so that they can preempt the navigation paths um, and explore your business as well. Some of the tools used by front-end developers are things like code editors that we've mentioned earlier. So code editors um, are, sent, are used by every single developer and they'll use them most of, ev most of every day um, you code in your uh, while building your project. It's essentially the place where you write the actual code for your websites. Um, all editors provide the plain text uh, format needed for your code to be interpre interpreted as a website. A really good editor is the Atom editor. So Atom streamlines your work by letting you customize it with thousands of different add-on features, um, different packages, different functions and themes, so on and so forth. So the tool that you use the most looks and works exactly the way you want it. Um, and Atom was also built by the same company that created Git and GitHub. Um, so you can also access these tools directly from um, Atom as well. So you can, there's already a tab already where you can open the Git panel, open the GitHub panel as well, and uh, easily kind of commit to your website as well. Other popular code editors include Sublime Text, Visual Studio Code, and things like that. 
Another tool or platform that a lot of web developers would use, especially front-end web development, are fonts, and more specifically Google Fonts. So Google Fonts host a number of different free and open source font families, and it's essentially an interactive web directory for browsing um, that you can browse through the libraries and APIs, and you can use the fonts via CSS um, as well and pull them into your into your website. Um, there's loads of free ones, but there's also a few paid ones as well, um, and uh, a lot of web developers would use it to add uh, different fonts onto their website. Um, and it all it all falls under good sort of user uh, experience as well to make sure the user uh, experience is uh, easy and easy to read. You want to make sure that the text that's being used is easy to read. Um, so Google Fonts is a really good sort of collection of all the fonts that you could uh, select from and ensure that you've got an easy to read and understand website. When it comes to backend uh, development, um, so the programs used are a little bit different. So with the front end development, uh, the programming languages you tend to use are HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript. And backend development is a little bit different. So one of the main uh, coding languages used in backend development, especially for WordPress websites, is PHP. PHP is a programming and scripting language to create dynamic interactive websites. Uh, all WordPress uh, websites are written with written using PHP as the scripting language and just like WordPress PHP is also open source source PHP is a server-side language which means that it runs on your web hosting server it's important to note that WordPress users don't need to learn PHP to use operate or manage a WordPress website um, WordPress already has the PHP files that you need and so do themes and plugins so that you can use WordPress with no PHP coding skills but when you are building your own theme um, so obviously WordPress uh, websites come with their um, needs a theme to run and you are able to create your own theme so you can have a completely bespoke and custom websites that's when knowing some PHP um, will come in handy as you can then create your own uh, bespoke website using PHP and uh, some other uh, languages like HTML, JavaScript as well PHP itself plays really well with HTML, CSS, and other front-end tools. So it's a very flexible language and doesn't compromise on security as well. Um, it's one of the many popular uh, CMS tools for uh, our websites, and learning PHP will help extend your website, create your own plugins, and find um, employment even with some of the top social media platforms. Um, Facebook, all the way to Shopify, um, all use PHP in some parts of their uh, website and applications. So you'll find it everywhere basically. Um, another popular uh, coding, lang uh, coding language that used by backend developers are ja is Java. So just like PHP, uh, Java has been around since um, as long as the internet. Um, it's a very old language and it's a very stable choice for a lot of applications and a lot of platform development uh, projects. It's class-based, it's ob object oriented pro program language, and has syntax similar to C++ and CS, uh, C and C++. Um, so there's some easy translation there if you already know, uh, some, if you already have some skills in that as well. Backend developers tend to focus more on the infrastructure and technical aspects of building a website. Their role involves investigating different designs for businesses and figuring out which uh, which works best for their clients' needs and target audience. Backend developers also manage website security. They will manage website hosting, monitor site traffic, monitor web speed, uh, process data. They will maintain mechanisms that perform web actions, and they will also debug sites as well. Um, they stay on top of web development trends and implement tactics to stay competitive in the online market as well. So that leads us to full stack developers and full stack developers are just that they are full stack. They work on everything from the front end to the back end. They have a wide range of web development skills and are able to manage construction of a website from beginning to the end. Often full stack developers will have a more in-depth expertise in the role of software and web, de web development. They are really proficient in the following areas, um, things like hosting environments, web servers and network capabilities, database, uh, both relational and correlational, um, they, ha they are knowledgeable in application programming interfaces, otherwise known as APIs. Um, they understand 
uh, in depth the correlation between user interface and user experience. Um, they can also do work for uh, quality assurance and website and program security. Um, full stack development is also offered as an agency service where a client can pay for full full stack development um, from an agency, but the actual front end and back end processes may be handled by different members of staff or even different internal teams. All the tools and platforms used by front end developers and back end developers are also all used by uh, full stack developers as well. Other tools used by web developers, um, both front end and back end. Um, so we talked briefly about GitHub. Um, GitHub is essentially an online software development platform and it's used for storing, tracking and collaborating on software projects, but it makes it easier for spe specifically for developers to share code files and collaborate with fellow developers on open source projects. So if you have a team of developers working on a website, um, it's very easy for them to kind of um, add their own input to the uh, website's code um, without infringing on anyone else who's also working on website um, as well. GitHub makes something called version control a lot easier. So a lot of coding best pra practices, um, one of the best coding practices out there is version control for your code. Um, Version control is essentially the practice of tracking and managing changes to software code um, and this can apply to w websites as well. Um, GitHub hosts Git repositories and Git is an immensely popular version control system as well and it allows developers to essentially create a history of changes that occur over time in their code and GitHub is one of the most popular uh, version control software platforms out there. Another really important to tool that a lot is used by a lot of developers is Stack Overflow. So Stack Overflow isn't so much um, a tool like uh, GitHub or Google Fonts or anything like that. It's more of a it's a website essentially um, where people can ask questions, can answer other questions uh, put forward by other programmers, and it's essentially a forum where people can put forward their questions and a community of developers will then uh, go in and answer those questions, can put forward their own questions and things like that. Um, it's essentially where developers will learn, share and build um, websites and other projects as well. It's a community based space um, where you can contribute to um, essentially a forum um, and teams and join communities and things like that. Um, it's a really good place to see if you are having an issue with something. Um, Stack Overflow would be one of the best places to search where you can find an answer for because it can be something that someone has already come across and it might have been a problem that's already been solved and you can get actual coding um, answers to actual coding um, issues that have come across as well. Essentially a user will uh, sign up and then type, uh, paste a uh, explain what their issue is and they, you can paste in actual code um, and exactly what the issue is um, and then uh, people within that community uh, will then go in and add their own input to that whether they they think they've missed a certain line of code or if they haven't defined certain things and they can put in their own line of code as well that you are essentially ready to copy and paste into your own editor and see if that helps and you can see even for one question because it's such an active community um, you can get lots of answers from lots of different people and you basically have lots of different solutions as well um, that you can kind of go through and see which of any of them fix as well and it just means then if it's online here another person who is also having the same issue can go into this and quickly find a solution as well so it's a very it's a almost it's a very community based project and it's very large it's been around for ages and there's lots of questions on there and there's lots of space for you to even make your own contributions too as well so stack overflow is um, again used by both front end and back end developers and definitely something worth uh, bookmarking whenever you are developing your own uh, website as a lot of issues that you might encounter might also be encountered by other people and might also have a solution on this website themselves as well. Developers are the backbone of the web development process. They are essentially the brains who write the code um, to build your website after the design has been signed off. Most of the work done in this phase uh, and does involve the programming and creating code templates for several pages a website has.
uh, so for example, home, general, content, blog posts, things like that. For each one of those, a template should be created. And obviously the tasks and the amount of time needed to program vary according to the nature of the website and the number of developers working on a project. Um, but filling, with, filling the website with content is also part of the web development team. And although developers don't write the content, they are the ones responsible for inserting it to the website as well. Developers are in continuous communication with designers, software testers, and even the client in some cases, um, if anything needs fixed. So it's important that both front end and back end developers um, have good communication skills as well, um, as they are the ones essentially that will be breaking down the jargon between the complicated tech jargon and relaying that to customers and people who don't have come from that tech mind as well. Designing and developing a stable, strong and secure website comes as the first logical step in establishing an online presence. Um, however, continually monitoring your website's performance with regular audits is also really crucial to maintaining the attention and loyalty of customers. So you want to make sure that once your website is developed, you do have carry on um, testing your site and constantly look for areas of improvement as there's always areas to improve as well. Um, but in terms of the three different types of web development, um, a lot of the times you will find um, the role overlaps slightly and the tools used by both front-end developers and back-end developers and even full-stack developers um, are very similar. Um, but all different, all roles are very important to essentially the final finishing um, of your product and of your um, website in general. Whether or not a uh, full stack development um, is just one person or it could be made up of a team of one front end developer and one back end developer if you are hiring out an agency. Um, at Profile Tree, uh, we've helped both small and large businesses develop a website that best appeals to their audience and suit their uh, business needs. Our portfolio of clients include businesses of many industries of all sizes and in various locations around the wor world. If you are looking to get in contact with an agency or have more questions, get in touch today to see how Profile Tree can help your business website.